Our goal was to build a high-performance BCI that can restore communication to people who are locked in by using handwriting motor imagery. We tested our BCI in one study participant who was implanted with two microelectrode arrays in hand area of motor cortex and who was paralyzed from the neck down. Here's how our decoder works. We use multi-unit threshold crossing rates as features. A recurrent neural network decoder converts these into the probability of each character being written at the current time step. The probabilities can be thresholded to admit discrete characters, which we did for real-time use. Offline, we explored using a large vocabulary language model to autocorrect typos. Here's what it looks like in real time when our participant uses the BCI to copy a sentence shown on the screen. Our participant is typing freely and entirely at his own pace. Note that our decoder is fully general and that the user can type any sequence of characters, including sentences that never appeared in the training data. In the next video, we compare our handwriting BCI, shown on the top, to the current state-of-the-art performance for intracortical BCIs, shown on the bottom. In both videos, the user is copying the same sentence. Our handwriting BCI is more than twice as fast as the current state-of-the-art. To our knowledge, the typing rates we achieved set a new record for BCIs of any kind. After five days of practice, our participant could type at 90 characters per minute at high accuracies. The raw accuracy achieved in real time was 94.5%. When we used a general purpose language model to simulate autocorrection, the accuracy was above 99%. Our results show that fast, dexterous behaviors can be accurately decoded years after paralysis and point the way towards a new type of BCI that can help people who are locked in to communicate faster.